So my research group at MIT works on materials, manufacturing processes, and automation. And when we think about the future of manufacturing and the future of the factory, we want to understand how those research topics relate to how manufacturing is, is done and work in manufacturing happens in the future. You know, there are cases where, where work will be eliminated and work will be created. For me personally, it's, it's, it's too early to tell you know, the, the dynamics and the relative answers, uh, though, though I do think a lot about education, how, how knowledge and access to these new technologies is, is going to be critical for, for anyone to stay ahead. Manufacturing, basically making products that, that we use every day is, is so important to our economy and to the workforce overall. And that's not just the, the factories and what the factories look like, but it's everything from uh, the start of the design process to the end of the product life cycle. And what's really intriguing to me is how the digitization of manufacturing involving technologies such as robotics and 3D printing and advanced software is going to change that whole experience right? and change what the work of the designer, the engineer, the factory floor, you know, a technician, uh, the service technician, everything is, is going to be different. And, and I think that's, that's the goal of this study is to, is to figure out what the opportunities are. I can see, for instance, at the early stage of product development, the design tools and the design methodology is going to change because not only will we have new manufacturing tools, but production systems will, will, will change. They'll be more automated, more distributed in some cases, more centralized in other cases, and I think everything's coupled and, and maybe the most interesting unexpected things are the coupling among those technologies.